What's up, Nora? Uh, Mr. District Attorney, Mr. Commissioner of Police. <clears throat> I have a client outside that I know you both would like to interview. Excuse me. I understand you wanted to see me. You might say that. It's quite surprising you're waltzing in here with your attorney. Dorian convinced me I had an obligation to finish what we started. Then, ladies, let's finish it. The case of the Commonwealth versus Dorian Lord in the murder of her late husband, Victor Lord. Whatever compelled you to turn yourself in, Dorian? All I can Excuse say is... Excuse me. Turn myself in? Whatever gave you that idea? Well, if you knew we were looking for you, you must have known that we were going to reopen that murder case against you. Really? Oh, that pains me. Because you see, I'm innocent. But, whatever. I'm here to see that justice is done. Or in this sudden passion for justice really warms my heart. Does this mean we're... You're finally going to tell the truth about Victor Lloyd's murder? I have always told the truth about Victor's death. That's bull! Okay, I think we should all stay civil here. My client is here on her own free will. Oh, and that international dragnet, that had nothing to do with it, huh? I think she's very aware that the police have questions for her. She's here to cooperate. Okay. Okay, I've got a question that I've been dying to ask you. Ever since that night you pulled your vanishing act. Let me take you back, uh, I don't know, a month or so, okay? To the night that the whole world found out that David Vickers is a total fraud. Now, you remember that night, don't you? Yes, of course I do. You practically broke into my home <laughs> without a search warrant. I was looking for an acquaintance of yours. Vicky, you remember her? We all know that Vicky was at my home that night. And that we exchanged words. Yeah, well, during your word exchange, you confessed to murdering Victor Lord. I did not. Well, your actions sure say otherwise, Dorian. I told you that night, stay put. You took off all the way to Spain and back. Now, it must have been something. There had to be something very serious to get you to leave your home, your daughter, and your friends. Is it something as, um, as serious as a murder charge? All right, Bo. Yes, I was frightened. I knew that Vicky had never stopped wanting her misguided revenge. David had been unmasked, and I was sure that she could convince the two of you to reopen the murder case against me. Everything was closing in on me. You ran because you knew you were guilty. I am weak. I am scared. But I am not guilty. I did not kill Victor Lord. You know, for someone who claims to be innocent, you sh sure have a way of acting guilty. Well, I know that I've been behaving erratically. But ever since that dreadful confrontation with Vicky, when she came barging into my house in the dark of night, she practically physically assaulted me. All the rage that he or she has kept bottled up inside her all these years kept spewing out of her. She, she accused me of everything, from Victor's murder to seducing Joey to David's duplicity. I was afraid for my life. Cut the theatrics, okay, Dorian? Yes, you were afraid. But it wasn't of Vicky. It was the, of the prospect of going back to Statesville Prison and dying there. Uh, Bo, I can't let you badger her like that. He's quite right, Nora. I was terrified of another murder trap. Yes, and with good reason. Because now the whole world knew that everything about David Vickers was a total sham. So, logically... Logically, of course. The evidence that he brought to Landview, which proved that Irene had killed Victor, was a sham, too. Was it? No, but I knew that the two of you would jump to that conclusion. And that's why, when David fled the country, I went with him. I, I ran for my life. So you were with him the whole time that he was gone. The poor darling, he really did try to shield me, but even in sunny Spain, life can be hell for a fugitive. I 
couldn't stop thinking about my daughter, how much she was worried about me. So that phone call to her, that was just to ease her mind? Bo, you know how much my daughter means to me. Mm-hmm. Then why did you lie to her, Dorian? Why did you tell her that you were in Europe with David when he was back here in Landview getting himself arrested? And by the way, who the hell is Jay Randolph? <laughs> What's the matter, Dorian? The name Jay Randolph ring a bell? Like a telephone bell? <laughs> My goodness. You two have really done your homework, haven't you? All right. I'm Jay Randolph. It's the name I was using while I was away. Hiding out. Whatever. I used a cellular phone. That's how you tracked me down. Oh, well. I had to call Cassie. I wanted to reassure her that I was all right. Give me a break. You did it to make us think you were still in Spain. I was desperate. David had been arrested. I was terribly worried. For yourself, you mean. Ah. Come on now, Hank. Let's not underestimate the power of love. Of course, it's a very strange kind of love, isn't it, Dorian? One that survives uh, David's marriage to Tina. You're keeping house with uh, Joey. And plus, it even survived you two ratting on each other. I mean, first you said this whole scheme, it was all his idea. Then he turned around and said the whole thing was yours. Maybe we should bring David in. Get his take on this fine romance. All right, if you think that's necessary. You'll find him at my house. Or should I say, our house. Excuse me. Excuse me? David and I got married. You two got married? When did this happen? Recently. How recently? Actually, today. You know, Dorian, just when I... Just when I think you sunk as low as you could go. It was an impromptu, spur of the moment kind of thing. Impromptu, my Aunt Clara. Look, I know what you're doing, Dorian, and you're not going to get away with okay, it. Okay, okay, Hank. I think maybe you need a moment to chill out, and uh, I would greatly appreciate a moment alone with my client. Fine. Come on, Hank. I'll throw some cold water in your face, then you can throw some in mine. to say to you, Mrs. Dickert. Yes? Get yourself another attorney. I quit.